Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Energy 6 2 tutorial and in this episode we will take a deeper look into the ME fluid terminal and how we can use fluids in our ME system. And um, the ME fluid terminal is created by one logic processor and one uh, ME terminal and at least one green die. And um, I already built up a ME system, a very small ME system. We have a controller, we have a terminal, we have some cables we have also a fluid terminal and we have an ME drive and in our ME drive are installed two separated um, storage cells. We installed the normal storage cells and um, we installed uh, the fluid storage, storage cells. And um, I, can, um, I will show you um, why I um, installed the two different types and uh, if we go to our normal ME terminal and I put in our lava bucket and our water bucket we can see that our um, liquids lava and water um, are used in our ME storage cell that means and if we take a look um, that we um, we stored our items into our ME systems. Um, that means the bucket um, itself. Okay. And um, if, we, if we want to store in the liquids, we need to use the ME fluid terminal. And if we take a look and we can um, select our lava bucket, take a left click at, um, to our terminal and we can see that we already have one bucket in there. We can also do it with the water and um, we can um, we can refill our bucket if we uh, use our bucket left click and now we got back our lava and um, we can also do it with our water bucket okay and if we take a look um, we can see if uh, I place in, in these two liquids we can see at our MA drive that our ME fluid storage cell um, uh, is using some bytes so that means that our liquids are stored in this uh, storage cell and um, yeah that's um, how you can uh, um, simply interact with some uh, liquids in uh, your ME system. Um, thanks for watching and bye.